For today's video, we're going to be testing the 125 grain Maxis bullet by Cutting Edge. The same gentleman that sent me some Fox bullets some time ago for another video sent me these. I believe the country he's from is Slovenia. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, we're going to give these a test. First round is going to be a low velocity simulating a longer range shot. And then we'll do a full load. I'm shooting these out of a 6.5 Creedmoor today. Kind of hit a little to the right hand side of that block. You can see where it stopped in there. Let's come around here first and look at this 1,539 feet per second on impact. Definitely opened up good. Shed a few pedals, beard up, and stopped here. So. Let me go grab my tape measure quick and I will get some measurements. Right. We started opening up there at about the one inch mark. Carrying that good permanent wound cavity just past the 11 inch mark. Leading edge of that bullet. It's 22 and three quarters inches. We got one pedal at nine and a half inches. Another pedal at eight and an eighth. Third pedal in here almost exactly on eight inches. Go ahead and remove this quick. And it was still facing forward, so even at that lower velocity, still had some decent stability. Overall, not too bad at the lower velocity. Let's go ahead and flip these blocks, and we'll get uh, High velocity load tested here. That larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is three and three eighths by three and three eighths. That velocity was 2,860.
and I do not see our bullet anywhere in there. So that core must have kept going pretty good. We have it starting to open up at about an eighth of an inch in. The really good explosive portion from the inch and a quarter mark, but you're carrying decent permanent wound cavity. They're out past the 23 inch mark where it starts to taper down from the nine inch mark running to the 23 inch mark. We are running just over two inches. And that larger, more explosive portion is going to be four and three quarter. We're about right on four that direction. See if I can find that bullet. Hopefully, it hit my backstop boards here. We've got a few little fragments, a few little fragments. I can see the petals from the other one all here, but I got some more fragments here that must have fragmented off as that high velocity load was still going through. I am honestly. I'm not seeing it in there, that's pretty clear gel, but I'm not seeing a hole where it came out my block anywhere. Yes I am. It came just down below that other wound track. You can barely see the two in here. Came out probably 16th of an inch or so lower than that other one. But clear through both blocks. So the fact that this bullet performs clear down under 1600 feet per second with zero issues. I mean those are good curled back. Yet still did this at high velocity. I think you would be hard pressed to find a monolithic bullet that's going to outperform this. That is, that's impressive. Hope you guys enjoy the video.